All right, Sage, I saw this over there on your workbench. Is it, is, what is it? Is it a saw blade? What? I don't, well, it's <laughs> a piece of hide and steel that was once part of a big bandsaw blade that I used to have. It was dealt out, but you'll see over on the walls here, I have old bandsaw blades. I can't ever throw them out. Okay. So, let me ask you a question. Oh, it's my turn to ask Big D a question. Okay. On October 22nd of 2020, we produced our first video. Remember what it was? Cabinet scraper. This is a cabinet scraper. What? Yeah, I'm gonna show you. Um, if we look down here, you're gonna see cabinet scrapers. We that's the that's the cabinet scraper we uh, put a burr on. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, for simplicity, okay. Um, this here is hardened steel. Okay, so it'll hold a burr. And if you feel right here, I have a burr on there. Cabinet scrapers, yeah. we have them for different radiuses. Um, these are carbide scrapers. I love both of these. I love this one for getting inside corners. This one here is how I scrape down staircases. I've had this for years. These are replaceable. But there's so many things in your shop. Like, I know a friend of mine, I was just talking to him down in Austin. His dad taught him his cabinet scraper or how to scrape finishes with a piece of glass. So I want to keep it simple with you and show you how there's certain things in the shop you can make if it's hardened steel, how to make a scraper. And like a cabinet scraper, let's just take this one that still has a pretty good burr on it. Okay, I mean, you know how you bend it like this. Okay, so something like this. Okay, this one, yes, I have plenty of these. Mm -hmm. Okay, but with a scraper like this, I use this to scrape glue. But you can see, like here's my burr on here. Oh, by the way, I'll show you. Make sure you file these down, okay? <laughs> but I always have the scraper, and it scrapes just as effectively like that. And I'll show you how to make this a cabinet scraper. Sounds good. So when you take your bandsaw blade, of course it's still, you know, in a um, band or circle. So right. what you're gonna do is I cut it up in sections. Okay. So I know it's dull. I have a bunch of these in uh, one of the drawers back there. I know it's dull, but one of the things for safety is what I like to do is take a metal file and go across like this just to dull it some more. And then I'll take it like this and I'll take some of the set out of there. It doesn't matter. It's not gonna be our cutting edge. I'll let you do that a little big deep. Okay. Here we go. Now that we've knocked down the, those teeth ever so slightly, it's not sharp, so when we, we bend it, we won't cut ourselves. Uh, what we want to do is we want to make sure that this gets a perfect 90. Okay. So what we want to do is I get this on 120 grit paper here on a hard surface. I'm just going to run it along like this and then run it along here like this. And what I feel for as I do this is I feel if there's any nicks in the blade. Okay. Okay, and I just take my, my nail and just run it like this. I don't feel anything. Um, so I'm gonna have you make a couple of passes on okay. this. Okay. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll do that and I'll switch my pressure so I'm making sure I get the whole blade. I just like this length yeah. that I can really bow it and take my glue lines down. Well, and it feels like it's more ergonomic, apart from the blade teeth, obviously. Yeah. But with the other cabinet scraper, I feel like you just got you have more control. I feel. But cool. yeah, I like no, that. it's this is something that was going to be tossed. Why not make it a useful tool in a shop, right? So as I feel that, like I said, no nicks. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to go from 120 to 320, and just make a few passes there, and that should be absolutely perfect our needs. I'll have you do a few passes. Okay. And you're just concentrating right on that edge basically. Okay. Wow. Big difference already. Yep. All right. Cool. Now what we have to do is I'm feeling the top of this. Mm-hmm and I don't want any nicks. So what I'll do is I'll take this and put it just like this, but I want to keep it at a perfect 90. Okay. So what I'll do is get a, a 90 degree block. 
Okay. Okay, so we need to do this edge right here. Yep. We did this edge, we did this edge. Now, balancing this to yeah. make it a 90 is a little, <laughs> right? Right. So uh, this is a trick I learned when I was a young man. I'll just take something I know is milled perfectly 90. I'll just take it like this. And I'll bring it on the 120, like this. Exactly the way I want it. And I'll feel it here. All the way across, no nicks. Just verify that again. I just, Chris, what's one of the best uh, feeler gauges? Your fingers. Yes, sir. Okay, good. <laughs> He's not just a cameraman. So what I'm going to have you, Big D, is come over here to 320. 320. Just hold it like this and make some passes back and forth. All right, sounds good. Good? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Now fix my hair and hey Bo! <laughs> now we gotta now we gotta uh, put a burr on it. Let's do it. Okay, so like in that first video we did a couple years ago, it's cabinet scraper 101. We gotta take this piece of steel, we gotta pull the steel out, then we're going to take it with this burnisher, we're going to take it and push it out and then we're going to put it at an angle. We'll do that in the vise, but first what you gotta do is you gotta pull the steel. So I'm just gonna get in here, Big D, and I'll have you do the other side. And I just do it like this. It's very subtle, and well, what you're doing is you're taking that 90 degree and you're pushing the steel out. This is the one thing I used to not do, and I'll go back like this and pull it, make sure it's on a, a good surface like this, and I'll do, I'm, I always count five swipes. Okay. Okay, and I'll have you do this side. Five swipes. Yeah, it's just it's just a, a method that I've just learned over the years. If you got it, is two. That would be three. And that would be four. That would be five. All right. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it. We're gonna vise it. And I like to put it up here, about that high. Okay, and we're gonna take it, because I do that because now I'm gonna be using my hands. And I'm gonna go one, two. And I put some adequate pressure. Three, four, five. Okay, can't feel anything. But now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring it up ever so slightly. And I'm going to do one side, I'll have you do the other side. Okay. Okay. So then I'm going to take it. And you see now I'm going to create, I'm going to, what I've done is I've created a burr. So the steel is out here. Now I want to take my burnisher, and this is solid carbide. And I'm going to take it and just this angle. I don't even know what angle that is, but I'm going to take it like this. There's one, two, three. It's very slight. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to have you do it, Big D. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Yep. Perfect. You're a pro at this already. <laughs> Had a good teacher. Uh, whatever. So, Big D, man, you did it. <laughs> now you have a new cabinet scraper. Uh, let's put it to the test. Let's do it. Okay. So I'm just gonna I'll make a couple sweeps and I'll have you make a couple sweeps. Wow, look at that, huh? Perfect tool to clean up some blue line. I'm gonna get all of that. Actually, that's cutting really good. Okay, you go for it. <laughs> all right. Not bad, huh? Basically no. a free cabinet scraper. So as we always say. Be positive and stay sharp.